Join us on our four-day trip from one end of the Lost Coast to the other, ending in Humboldt County. We head north across the Golden Gate, through the Redwoods, and onto the Usel Road. as you approach the hill leading to the campground. We're reminded of how important it is to act safely while overlanding and camping. set up camp near the beach. Not too crowded on a Tuesday, but there were some other cool overlanding rigs camping around us. We had a quick dinner and enjoyed the amazing sunset. My wife started a campfire while the moon came up and the fog rolled in. Our gear got pretty wet with the overnight fog. We packed up, aired down the tires, and prepared to drive the Lucy Road for it. Usel Road was in much rougher condition heading north out of the campground. We found a huge, dangerous looking tree leaning across the trail. We considered our options and decided that we would be able to make it past. The rest of the Usel Road was in pretty good condition with some rough patches and rocky sections. The Usel Road dumps out onto Priceland Road. 
From there, tent camping is available at Needle Rock. We were headed to Walakai Campground. Before we had our X-Venture X33 trailer, we camped at Needle Rock, and it was an amazing and beautiful place to stay. I definitely wouldn't bring my trailer down that road, and there's no facilities for it anyways. Waylakai Campground is a place we wanted to stay for a long while, and we were not disappointed. We set up our camp and then took a quick trip to Shelter Cove. Back to camp for a great salad, some roasted corn, some baked salmon with roasted peppers. Sitting by the campfire and planning tomorrow's adventure. packed up and headed out to drive the Kings Peak Road north to Humboldt County. We eventually made our way to Wilder Ridge Road and we headed north to the small town of Honeydew in Humboldt County. Don't go through Honeydew without stopping at the Honeydew Country Store. We continued west until we arrived at the Matoli Campground. We were fortunate to find the last spot available at that campground. It was a little torn up, but it was a good place to stay for the night. Traction boards come in handy for leveling up the trailer. Matoli Campground has a magnificent beach with astounding views. Another great campfire and then we settled in for the night. A quick breakfast and then we were headed out for some sightseeing. Fresh ground, pour over coffee.
We left the trailer at the campsite and drove the Jeep out to Windy Point. The Windy Point Trail takes you down to the beach and along the coast to an old lighthouse. We'll save that hike for the next trip to the Matoli Campground. Awesome views all along the road to Windy Hill. It's definitely windy. by four vehicle with some clearance is definitely recommended. Back to camp, pack everything up, and then we're out. One more stop at the Honeydew Country Center, and then we start our ride right back home. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please consider liking and subscribing.